Welcome back, everyone, to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts as we continue this uh, German 1900 campaign. We are now into 1913. Does not seem to be an end in sight uh, as we press on to try and dominate the British, who now have eight battleships. Many of them are brand new, so we're going to have our work cut out for us a little bit here. Uh, since we weren't expecting the campaign to go this long, uh, we're definitely gonna gonna be up against it. Uh, so we're gonna have to start thinking about ways to get back ahead here. Here's an opportunity. Uh, let's see if we can't take out these four British ships. We've got a heavy cruiser, a light cruiser, and two destroyers. Uh, and we've got three destroyers, though none of them are our newest ones. We've got a V-17, which is one of the earliest ones that we've got. So uh, I still think we should be in good shape because we've got one of our battleships ready to go. Okay, well, we've spotted them. Let's go ahead and drop our speed down. Get our destroyers going. I, I put them into a tight formation. I don't even have the avoid torpedoes turned on, and yet they're still colliding with each other. So someone speculated yesterday that having the torpedo avoidance on was what was causing the issue I had in the last episode with the destroyers uh, kind of spinning in circles, but it seems to be more than that. It seems no matter what I do, I've been having some issues lately with the pathfinding on these torpedoes. So I'm going to drop them into a, a normal spread and see if that helps at all with this issue that I'm having. I'm going to try to hit this torpedo boat if I can. I want to knock out those threats quickly if possible. I have a veteran crew. Uh, so 50% bonus to aiming. 60% bonus to damage control, 30% bonus to accuracy, about 7% accuracy right now from this distance. We've already landed a hit at two, two and a half kilometers. These things are still colliding. That's uh, so frustrating. I guess we're just going to have to separate them. I don't know what else to do. In fact, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna have these guys go follow right along with them. I'm gonna put this one on AI. I'll put that one on AI. We're just about into torpedo range. Oh, he's only got a one kilometer range on his torpedo, so that's perfect. See if we can't light this guy up and finish him off. He's trying to come in for a torpedo run now. I keep mine on save. We already put one in the water, which is completely unnecessary under the circumstances. I'm actually going to turn him off. I don't want to be firing torpedoes from my battleship at a torpedo boat that's just going to easily dodge them. Looks like his battleship is way the heck back there. So I'm going to try to get this destroyer going on a run up that direction. It turns out that's a destroyer, not a torpedo boat. Uh, he just put a huge spread of torpedoes into the water. That was a waste. I only have four left. Turn them off. Ooh, flash fire. Sinking. Yeah, see how close those torpedoes came, but still missed. gonna try and make a run now with our destroyer hopefully they'll be reloaded and ready to fire by the time they get near his battleship or actually it's a heavy cruiser he doesn't have a battleship I'm 
Not sure where my other destroyers are doing. We still haven't spotted the heavy cruiser. It's a little ways off. Looks like his destroyer is going to make a run on mine. Hopefully these two torpedoes or these two destroyers can handle him. Isis. There he is. All right. We should be reloaded and ready to go by the time we get up close to that heavy cruiser. Let's go ahead and start turning the Hagen, get our guns on the Isis. Got a 12% chance to hit with the the forward 12 inch gun. Hopefully we'll be able to swing around here with the other one soon. Let's see what's going on with these guys. A lot at the moment. ISIS does have four torpedoes, so we need to be careful of that. I gotta be careful here. I only have four of these things. I gotta make them count. All right, we're landing some hits now. I'm gonna put the battleship temporarily on AI while I make my torpedo run here. All right, let's put them on save so we can get them start aiming. Looks like they're ready to go. Actually, I'm gonna turn them off because he's turning. And I'm worried about the angle here. I want to wait until I've got a surefire shot. Oh, and they're in the water. Let's hope this wasn't a bad angle. I think I've got them from here. There's no way I'm going to miss. They're just all going to hit in about the same spot. Boom. Yeah, that's the only problem is we hit too much up front, so there's not going to be a lot of flooding. If we could have got a nice spread, we could have gotten the flooding we needed. Here comes a torpedo, but we're already turning, so that's good. I might be able to put one in the water myself here. Beautiful. Nice shot. That'll finish off ISIS. Okay. Let's go after the heavy cruiser. All right, I raised my speed back up to flank speed because I'm gonna catch up to this guy and close the distance as quickly as I can. They do not have any torpedoes on board. I'm gonna go ahead and put mine on save. I think, I think we've got a forward torpedo tube. I don't know if they're just on the side on this thing or not. But if we do have a forward tube, we might be able to get a hit here. Let's go ahead and drop our speed. Yeah, there's a forward too. So let's try to get the aim right here. If not, we can just turn and use the side ones. Might not need them though. At the rate that we're hitting right now. We got 47 and 50% chances to hit from here. And torpedoes in the water. 
but it's going to miss because he was in the process of turning when we fired. I really, 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 and I say it, it sounds like a broken record, I know. I wish there was manually, manual aim of torpedoes so you could decide the direction you want to fire them instead of letting the AI do that because it always fires at the angle that I wish it didn't. Just need to try and get some flooding. There it is. Now we're getting that flooding. Let's see if it's enough. We've got two compartments flooding. If we can get it to maybe go over into the next compartments. A little bit. Doesn't look like it is though. Yeah, he's staying on top of it. We're about to have a torpedo available though. And that ain't gonna miss from there. Let's just hope it hits in a spot we haven't already flooded. I think we got him. As long as his pumps don't stay on top of that. Come on, baby. Yeah, his pumps are on top of it. I mean, he's dead in the water, but we've still got to finish him off. You can see he's listing pretty heavily to starboard. We're at a tough angle now, though. We're ricocheting our shots. Structural damage is actually worse than the float damage right now. Hundred percent chance to hit. Don't see that very often. There's another torpedo in the water. Oh, he's done. And we're not gonna worry about that last destroyer. We took out his heavy cruiser, his light cruiser, and one of his destroyers. 818 victory points, 805 crew lost to just 52 for us. We gotta remember to turn on the add crew switch again. Because that always goes off uh, when we come into a uh, when we reload from save. Let's make sure we don't have any ships that are mothballed at the moment. All right, I think we're good. So that was a good month for us. We are going to have to get some more battleships going. We're almost out of naval funds at the moment. Uh, about the same on destroyers and light cruisers. We've got a nice advantage on heavy cruisers and battleships. Uh, let's look at the fleet for a second and see where we're at technology wise because we're in 1913 we're still using some 1899 ships like this heavy cruiser here I think we'll probably go ahead and scrap maybe a couple of these light cruisers too these older ones as well as that heavy cruiser okay We've got 5,000 available in the crew pool right now, so let's scale back what we're spending there. You can see we've got a nice monthly balance. Let's up our tech budget a little bit. And then transport capacity is good too, so we can scale back what we're spending there. Where are we at on research? Anything coming our way anytime soon. Auxiliary petrol engine. We can ramp up that hull strengthening as well get that down to five months okay there's the new tech hull strengthening let's go ahead uh, into our research now and take that focus off nothing else particularly close big guns we're going to get mark two 12 inch guns here pretty soon hull protection that torpedo protection too coming up but uh, let's go ahead into our ship design. We're going to need some more battleships just because of what he's doing. 
Um, Wilhelm der Grossa is our most recent design for battleships. I don't like the slow speed on these things and the fact they only have 10 inch guns. Uh, so I'm going to design something new. We still can't get anything bigger than a 17,000 ton battleship, which is really frustrating to me, but that's just where we're at. Uh, let's at least get 20 knots of speed. I think we can type that in exact. There we go. Uh, I'm going to drop the range on these things. But then kind of go from there. Krupp 1 armor. At least get anti-torpedo 1. Uh, let's go ahead and start designing this thing. See, we still, because of the, the hull here... Um, I don't know what Battleship 2 hull looks like. We might be able to get some better... It's a smaller battleship, but we might be able to get some better um, guns on this thing. 13 inch Mark IIs. Which we can't get on that other hull, I don't think, just because of the design of that hull. So even though it's smaller, so we won't have a, a, a oh boy. There we go. That helps with the weight. Even though it's smaller, it uh, has better weaponry on it. It just we're not going to be able to protect it very well. Is the only thing. Let's get that TNT going for sure. See, we're already maxed out on weight before we even do anything. Um, how about we drop our deck armor? We have to sacrifice somewhere. Ah, that radio is a lot of weight. Alright, we'll take our chances with that. Um, double hull bottom. Reinforced bulkheads. We're not going to have a lot of secondaries on this thing. We're just not going to be able to. Let's do some single 5 inch guns. We can't even put that many of them on here. How about casemate 5 inch? There's a few spots for those. Yeah, we're just going to have a few secondaries. Not much at all. Underwater tubes. Let's just throw... Oh, we haven't even put funnels on this thing yet. Ugh. This is a brutally inefficient battleship. We're going to have to drop some speed. I'm going to drop some range, too. And oh, we're good on engine efficiency. What's it go to if we drop... Ah, we're still at 100, actually, even with just one funnel. All right, so that's good news. And now we've got a little available weight to us here. Let's go to 18-inch torpedoes. What happens if we go to heavy shells? More penetration, more damage. Let's do that. All right, and um, maybe a couple of eights somewhere. Actually, let's try this. Okay, we can put some 8s on there. It just means we're going to be a little bit overweight. Let's drop the bulkheads. There we go. Drop the bulkheads and add some belt armor to this thing. Okay. It's not fancy, but I think it'll do the job. Let's see how it compares to our previous design. It's smaller, it's more expensive, it's faster, it's definitely got bigger guns, so I like it. And we're going to queue up four of them. How long is it going to take to build those things? 15 months. Alright. In the meantime, we've got a battle. 
right here near London. Ooh, boy. Ooh, I don't know. That's a lot to take on, but we've got to try. Okay, here we go. So what I'm thinking here is that hopefully we can do this kind of in two parts. Uh, first, we can deal with the escort ships, and then we can close in on the big boys or vice versa so that we don't have to take on the entire fleet at the same time. Um, I'm going to attach the light cruiser to the battleship. Actually, it looks like the battleship's going to be attached to the light cruiser. I'm going to separate out these two destroyers and put them on AI for the time being. And then we're going to try to hunt these guys down. Let's see what happens. Okay, battleship right up front. Let's go at them while we've got the chance here. We're going to take V-48 straight at this guy. I'm going to turn off the torpedoes for now. We'll kind of hunker down in the back with the battleship. All right, what's this over here? All right, we got to be careful. Oh boy. Not a good start. We do have a three kilometer range on our torpedoes and the way these other ships are going and the fact that we're about to get sunk here, we need to get them in the water. Take our chances. Let's hope we can get lucky. I think he's going to easily avoid these, though. You can see him turning already. I just put two more in the water. Looks like his whole fleet's going towards that destroyer, which is going to very quickly get sunk, I'm afraid. getting lit up and there they go darn it okay well not a good start especially since our torpedoes were all way off you can see them harmlessly going off into the distance We only have 10 inch guns. Of course, so does he. everything on this destroyer while he's up close. Try to take these three out before we go in after the big ships. Not great odds to hit though. Well, that was nice. We aimed at him, but we hit the other one there, so that was nice too. 
We're gonna switch targets now. Here comes the battleship. Alright, let's sh shift our big guns. Alright, we just took a hit to our engine. Shift our big guns onto the battleship since he's coming in close. Keep our secondaries firing on those destroyers. Dang. A lot of flooding. I do not have torpedoes on this battleship. Dang. Getting hammered. Good night. Not a good start. Lost 50 crew. Wow, a lot of flooding. Detach. Oh, there's a torpedo coming in at us. And it hit. He's going to avoid that. Darn it. Flash fire and the Falky's out. This is gonna. This is turning into a complete disaster for me, and I should have known better than to go against a fleet this size. Oh. Let's switch targets. We're going to go after this heavy cruiser for the time being. At least with our big guns. We landed hits with both shots so far. Torpedo. Don't see any avoiding that one. And it's right in the center where we hadn't flooded yet. Exactly where he needed that to go. Darn it. He got me. That was a complete disaster. But honestly, we have inflicted so many disasters like that on the British that the fact that we had it happen to us once should not be that huge of a deal. All right, so the one last thing we're gonna do as we get into November of 1913, 
Uh, I think we need to go ahead and build some more destroyers. Uh, he's got, um, between destroyers and torpedo boats, he's got 89 of them. Compared to our just 36, we're even or ahead on everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and do a new design on, to on um, these destroyers. A large torpedo boat can go up to 900 tons. That's the best thing we've got. 30 knots, I think, is pretty adequate. This is going to be the V58. Uh, let's just compare to our V30 or 43 design, uh, which cost one and a half million, had a top speed of 32. So I think we can cut back on that a little bit uh, for the sake of some other things. What's the difference here? Uh, hull weight, engine cost per weight. Um, there's a big difference there. I mean, turning rate and rudder shift speed are much better, but I'm going to drop back to hydraulic. Let's go ahead and get the basics going here. I want to drop that tower down there. Get the, the two launchers wherever possible here. I'm going to put those ones there because I want to try and get the main gun ahead of it. I really don't care to use the guns all that much. So I'm just going to get one two inch gun that we can stick on there. Although it appears... Ah, there we go. We can stick the tower up there that way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the funnels in different spots so it gives me more flexibility with the torpedo launchers. And I'm going to throw a one on here too because it'll reload at a different speed and that'll give us a little... Oh, we don't have a secondary tower. Never mind that. There we go. So we'll do it that way. We'll have the twos there, the twos there, and then a one. That way it'll reload at a different rate. I'm going to drop back to light shells. 18 inch torpedoes. We'll stay with the gun cotton and brown powder, uh, brown powder propellant. That's a, oh, that's a lot of weight added to add some extra torpedoes. I don't think we're going to do that. I don't like the aft weight offset we have going on right now. I'm not sure there's a lot we can do about that, though. Without switching things up here a little bit. But the one on the back, you know, we still have a major aft weight issue. How much do these weigh? 7 tons. These weigh 44 tons. So what we can do is drop our funnel back. Throw our tubes, although that really limits their scope. But that's okay. I think it's just going to have to be that way. Um, then we're just going to try and protect these things the best we can. I'm going to max out the bulkheads. Not going to worry about armor. Eight eighty two. All right, so let's compare this now to the V forty three. V forty three had two uh, times two, so it's the same except we're adding the one compared to that one. We're actually a little slower, and uh, the cost is down a little bit on this one. Engine efficiency is good. What happens if we actually if we take off a funnel, we're still at 100% engine efficiency. And then we get a much more balanced weight offset. Could we add another single on here? Let's try to shift this up. Balance that weight a little better. That's better. All right, let's go with that. This is basically just a, a torpedo boat is all it is. V58. How many of these can we build? I'm actually going to build 15 of them. That's three 
thousand a month, three million a month, I guess technically is what it is, and that's gonna really hit us hard. So unfortunately, what that means is all right, transport. We need to go up a little bit. Crew training. We've got a decent amount of crew, so we're gonna drop back on crew training, drop back on tech budget, at least till we get those battleships built. All right, let's go ahead and skip ahead one more turn. A convoy mission here. Three destroyers versus three destroyers, but I like our destroyers versus theirs. Uh, I'm just gonna auto resolve it though. I sank some of my transports. All right, so here's the situation now where we're at. He's got battleships that he has queued up. So I don't know how, considering how much we have done to him and how much we're ahead on victory points, that he's still keeping up uh, in terms of building these battleships, except for the fact that he's Britain and he's just got more money than I do. So um, I think that's just what it is. But let me know your thoughts. Use the comment section below. Please hit that like button if you would. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.